What's poppin', what's up? Welcome back to the channel. I go by the name of Pretty Boy Rob and I'll be hosting today's episode of Shoe Care Academy. For this one, we got one of the most timeless colorways of all time. I'm talking about the UNC colorway on these Air Jordan 5s. I actually had the pleasure of wearing this shoe for about a month and I was surprised about how many compliments I got. Overall, it is a dope shoe. I got these things pretty dirty. However, it wasn't dirty enough. That's why we over-exaggerated. Got these things extra, extra, extra dirty just so we could showcase how great our products work. For today, we gonna tap in to our essential shoe cleaning kit due to the materials and textures of this shoe. With all that being said, there's not much left to it but to do it, so let's get straight into this episode of Shoe Care Academy. All right, here we go. We got a cleaning station all prepped, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, for this video, we're gonna be using our essential shoe cleaning kit, as well as I grabbed some of our other fabulous rejuvenated products, such as our shoe tree. This is gonna allow us to apply as much as pressure on that toe box during the cleaning process. We got a mat, so we have a nice clean station. Lastly, our drying rack bowl combo, which is gonna act as our bowl for our water and solution, and then a rack where we can store our brushes. With all that being said, we can hop straight into today's cleaning. I'm just gonna grab this left shoe, set it aside, and we could go ahead and focus on this right shoe for before and after purposes. But right now, I'm just gonna grab our cleaning solution and squirt some squirts in our bowl of water. Now that we got our water ready, we can go ahead and get this shoe prepped for the cleaning process. To do that, I'm just gonna remove these shoelaces and then insert our adjustable shoe tree. So here I go. All right, we got our shoe all prepped. Before I start with this cleaning process, I wanna talk a little about the material on this shoe. This is an all new book sneaker, so when cleaning any type of suede or new book, you really wanna make sure you grab your soft brush and dry brush and get all that dirt off. That way you're not just pushing the dirt deeper and deeper into the material. You'll actually be surprised on what a dry brush in can do to your shoe, so I'm gonna get to that right now. All right guys, I am done getting as much as loose dirt and debris off the sneaker as I can. Right now it's time to focus on these deeper stains. And as you can see, we got a lot of those. But before I get started, I wanna give you some pro tips about cleaning any type of new buck shoe. One, you need to make sure you don't oversaturate this material. What I mean by that is you don't wanna put a bunch of water on here and just get the shoe soaking wet. You wanna use as little as possible. And two, when you're cleaning the shoe, you need to be completely even and thorough through the whole shoe. Basically, I can't just focus on this area and jump around to all the dirty areas. I'm gonna to have to clean the entire shoe evenly. We already got our solution to water ready, so let's get to dipping. All right, for this cleaning process, you guys see me do something a little bit different. I dipped a soft brush inside our water mixture. Then I wringed it out a little bit, tapped it on the mat just to get all that excess water off. Then I jumped on the cleaning. Then you see me with the towel pretty much pat drying throughout the whole cleaning process. Again, the whole point of that was just to not oversaturate this material. However, I left one step and that's cleaning this 3M tongue. The reason why I saved that for last is because I want to talk a little bit about this material as well. When cleaning any 5s or any 3M on sneakers, you want to make sure you avoid oversaturating this material. So I'm pretty much going to do the same steps I did on the upper on this tongue right now. So here I go. All right guys, we're all done using our soft bristle brush. I am noticing some deeper stains, so I am gonna attempt to tackle those lightly using our medium bristle brush, as well as take care of this midsole. So let's get it, let's go. When cleaning midsoles, it can be very challenging not to get excess water back on the uppers. That's why I'm laying down the towel to avoid this from happening. Thank you. 
All right, there it is. I am all done with that midsole. The last thing I gotta do is hop on that icy bottom with our stiff bristle brush. However, before I do that, I wanna talk to y'all a little bit about the UNC colorways. Since you guys get so triggered by my opinions, it's only right I come at you with my top three UNC colorways. Number one of the list has to be the UNC one. Whether you're going for the 85 cut or them off-white joints in the back, that is definitely the number one UNC shoe. Number two has to go to the threes. Such a beautiful shoe. I'm definitely a huge fan of the UNC threes. And last but not least, the UNC sixes. I know I might get a lot of slack. People don't really rock with the sixes like that, but personally, I really like the UNC sixes. That's my top three. Let me know in the comment section down below if you agree with my opinion, if you disagree, or what your top three are. We'd love to hear from you guys in the comment section down below, and that's a fact. But again, I could get on this stiff bristle brush right now. Right there it is, them icy soles are clean once again. Last thing I gotta do is go ahead and take care of these laces. All right guys, when cleaning your laces, we found the best method is just to dip them inside of your bowl of water and just start swooshing around like so. As you're doing so, you'll just see it start to foam up and get nice and sudsy. All right, laces are done, shoes are done. Now we just gotta go ahead and grab our lace lock that has been chilling in our bowl of water and just buff out any stains with our microfiber towel. All right, the lace lock is officially done. Now we can go ahead and grab our laces, lace lock, and shoe, set them outside to dry, and I'll see y'all before you know it. All right, guys, we are back. We did go and let this shoe fully dry, and there are a few things I wanna mention. During the cleaning process, I didn't actually experience any color bleeding. However, looking at this shoe, I am seeing a little color fading. So what we're gonna do right now is grab our mink oil and go and spray it, help bring back some of that color. But before I do that, I'm actually uh, gotta mention this texture. It is a little crunchy, and uh, we don't like crunchy nubucker suede. So what I'm gonna do right now, actually, is grab this soft bristle brush, brush in multiple directions, to help bring back that buttery texture. Then I'm gonna go outside and spray the mink oil all around. So let's get to this soft brush right now. I am checking the texture all around the shoe and I see that I brought back that buttery blue new buck. The last thing we gotta do before we get these things laced up and sign on out of here is hit it with the mink oil so we can recondition the shoe and help bring back some of that color that was lost. So follow me. Sun's in four, homie. When applying mink oil to your sneakers, you do wanna make sure you spray light, even coats all around the shoe. Then grab your soft bristle brush and brush it into that material to really condition that sneaker. For this specific shoe, we didn't experience too much color fading, so I only applied two light even coats. But right now, we're gonna get back inside so we can get these things laced up. There it is, that's gonna do it. That's gonna wrap things up for today's episode of Shoe Care Academy on these UNC5s that were looking horrendous. I mean, let me go ahead and just bring it into the frame. You see the results. We achieved these using our essential shoe cleaning kit paired with our mink oil. We also use some other products like our cleaning mat, dry rack bowl combo. All these products you see in today's video are available at reshoebinary.com as well as all your other shoe care needs. And we got tons of products. I'm talking deodorizers, repellents, two different kinds backpacks, display cases, you name it, the list goes on and on. So make sure you guys hit that link in the description to save you guys some dollar bills. If you like today's video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all know the vibe, because you guys are gonna wanna tune in next week, because we got a crazy one for you. Let me just go ahead and uh, show you what I'm talking about. These things are disgusting. I'm gonna have to sanitize my hands. 
three different times just for touching them. Our photographer Nick linked up with Nona Kicks. He actually did a 30 day wear test on these shoes, got him trashed, but you know they weren't dirty enough. So we had to do our thing and get him extremely trashed. It's gonna be a tough one. So make sure you guys hit that bell so you guys will be notified as soon as we post it. But don't trip, I got faith in the products and I know we are gonna do our thing. My name is Pretty Boy Rob and I'll see y'all in another one. Peace.